Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another electric motorcycle review. Now I can hear you all tutting at home because I've been a little bit critical of electric vehicles in the past, you know, and I do believe that sort of higher capacity, higher performance electric motorcycles are pointless with the current technology. But the only thing for me which makes sense from an electric motorcycle point of view is small commuter machines. And this is where the Maving R1M comes in. Now this bike is made in Britain. It's made up in the Midlands somewhere, mainly made up by ex-Triumph engineers have invented this thing. It's only got a 45 mile an hour top speed. That's all you need for urban travel. It's got an 80 mile range and it starts at just £5,000. This, this electric vehicle, to me, makes a lot of sense. So uh, if you're interested in the Maving R1M, I think it's R1M, but M could be RM1, one of the two, then this is the video for you. So grab yourself a nice cup of tea and I'm gonna take this little baby out for a little bit of a spin through the town. I'm not taking this up the hill climb. We're taking this through town where it's designed to run. So if you're interested in this, get yourself a brew and I'll see you after the intro. Chopsy, roll it. Britain. I mean, look at look at this. Look at this design. If, that, if that's not the coolest looking retro esque electric scooter, <laughs> they probably kill me for saying it's a scooter. Electric motorcycle you've ever seen. I mean, it's it's sparse. Sparse is one word for it, isn't it? But also lightweight is another word for it. This thing only weighs 110 kilos. It's a cross between a push bike and a motorcycle. 45 mile hour top speed, 80 mile range with the two batteries because what is great on this bike, it's got detachable batteries. There's a battery under here, there's a battery on the side here. Uh, we'll go a full walk around a bit later and we'll show you how to take the batteries out, but it's interchangeable batteries. So again, makes a lot of sense. Starts at 5,000 pound with a single battery and it's an extra thousand pound, six grand to have two batteries. So it's 40 mile range with one battery, 80 mile range with two batteries. But you know, I mean, <laughs> this is this this is what makes sense to me for an electric vehicle. I'm a little bit concerned about how manly these uh, these springs are for a 20 stone fatty, and I'm wondering how how comfortable it's going to be. And look at look at the width of this thing. What on earth is my big ass going to look like from the back on this bike? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to look a little bit ridiculous on this. I think this is really designed for the. The more uh, svelte, svelte gentleman or, or lass. It's probably not designed for a great big 20 stone, six foot two fatty. But yeah, that, that rear suspension has taken a bit of a hit when I'm on it. The bike's got no clutch, of course. You don't have clutches on electric motorcycles. Haven't got a gearbox. So you've got like a push bike type of range with the rear brake, front brake at the top. So your feet are doing nothing on this machine. To start it, I think, well, first of all, you've got to turn it on. I think you hold that down, press the brake. Yeah, I'm in first. There we go, we're in gear, we're off. <laughs> so it's, all, it's all very, uh, what I do like about electric vehicles, it's all very uh, sedate, it's all very... Hello, love. I love a combustion engine, I love the noise of a motorcycle, but when you do have a go on something electric, it's quite novel. Just sort of having a bit of peace and quiet and uh, yeah I, I do quite like that i do quite like that right now this thing isn't that nippy so <laughs> you know even though it's electric it, it's not fast you know this has got a 45 mile an hour top speed i've had it up to 50 almost so even with me on it you can still exceed the top speed but that's that's flat out that's full throttle that's full throttle so i mean it's not you're not going to wheelie this, <laughs> but that's not what it's about, is it? So we're up to 40, 40 limit, so that is absolutely fine. But the bike is so small and thin. I mean, if I, if I pull my legs around the tank, one of my thighs is the same size <laughs> as the uh, 
the tank, I say the tank, the, the battery compartment, let's call it that. It's got a very high quality sort of feel to everything on this bike, you know. I think Maving are, are quite proud, you know, of this sort of British heritage from this bike. Got cobwebs on it. But it's it's got, you know, it's got quality little badging at the top. You know, the bike looks like a quality motorcycle. When I first I told I said I thought when they said do I want to try the Maving, I thought yeah, it's a little scooter type thing, 45 miles an hour. I thought, if it's over £10,000, they can forget it. I'm not reviewing it because these things need to be cheap and affordable. And when I saw it as five grand, I was like, wow, now, now you're talking. Now you're talking sensible money for a sensible vehicle. So this is why I've agreed to sort of do this review because I'm not reviewing electric bikes anymore you know large capacity I, I don't I, I don't think it's the answer I don't think it's the technology which is going to be used going forward and I actually had a chat with the Ducati Moto E team the other week when I was at Silverstone there's a whole video on this but it may be out it may not be out if it's out I'll link to it at the top but even they don't think they're not ready to build an electric Ducati because the technology is not ready but anyway let's not I'll go into that a little bit later on but for now let's just concentrate on the moving. The riding position is, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's really nice, quite comfortable. The front brake is terrible. The rear brake is very good. So the front brake is really not very good. See, how weird is it when you come to a stop and it's just silence, you know? I do like that. And if you're out in the country, it's quite nice, you know, just into the birds. <laughs> So I do quite like the whole quiet thing about bikes, even though I love a noisy petrol bike, of course. It's quite novel when you jump on an electric one. But yeah, the brakes aren't great, but the riding position, it's a bit like a bobber. It's a bit like a Triumph bobber, is what it reminds me of, but with a, perhaps a more uncomfortable seat. I'm finding this seat, making my ass a little bit sore, ready. And there is some preload adjustment on the rear springs. I should have wound them up to maximum because you know, I'm more or less, I think, bottoming out the suspension on the back here. So, for me, if you're 20 stone, six foot two, this is this is this is a bit too small. If I'm being honest, you, you, if you're a little bit more sensible sized, then yeah, this is this is absolutely great. And it's a really it's really comfortable, but the seat is a little bit a little bit hard would be my only criticism. But apart from that, a really nice little riding position. So when I left the house, this had 100% charge. I'm now down to 92% and I've done, let's have a look, I've done about five miles. Let's get over here before we run out of room. I've done about five miles, you know, but I, I've been on like a fast bit of road. I've been going flat out basically. And you know, if you know anything about these bikes, what you realize after riding a few of them, if you're in town, you can get really rather good mileage out of them. But as soon as the speed gets up, then your mileage economy, let's call it, you know, your range goes out the window. So you really need to be, this is why this, you know, this is why this makes sense, a commuter bike. But if you're going to be hitting, you know, nationals, you've only got sort of a 50, just under 50 mile an hour top speed, and you're just going to rinse your battery fairly quickly. But in town, you get 40 miles on one battery, 80 miles on two batteries, which is pretty reasonable. As I mentioned, the rear brake, it's pretty good. The front feels very retro. <laughs> very retro brakes, I would say. And it's weird to be braking like a push bike. I guess that makes things easier for sort of new riders because this is also sort of CBT compatible. So I think this is equivalent really to like a 50cc motorcycle. So, you know, new riders can jump on this. You don't, you can ride this on an L plate yes mate you can move over i can't i'll rev the engine so they can hear me let's come through i'm pulling in front of this guy floor it if it were mine these bar ends are taking up valuable width so when you want to commute and cut through traffic i think the bar ends are not great because it's making it a little bit wide so let's have a go at a bit of filterage Yeah, it's quite, uh, so those mirrors, it's quite wide. Thank you. And I guess when you're filtering an electric bike, you've got to be especially careful, because if I'm normally filtering, I'll be doing it in quite a low gear to keep sort of the, the noise up, keep the revs up so people can hear you. Of course, you've not got any of that on an electric vehicle. So you've got to be a little bit aware of what people are going to be doing 
changing lanes at the last minute and all of that and also the brakes aren't particularly sharp and it's weird having to brake like a push bike oh, rush hour there's not many bikes I'd want to test in rush hour this is probably the only one it's just so weird being quiet it's so weird I mean normally on electric vi electric bikes you normally get a bit of that whir, you get a bit of that whir you know the larger capacity ones you get that whir from the motor you get nothing from this it's absolutely silent it is absolutely silent which is really weird because you normally do get something from them but as they say silence is golden mm -mm, coming through coming through nobody pull out on me please to charge this it, you charge it from basically your three pin plug at home it comes with a charger obviously um, and you charge it from home you know on a three pin I don't think you can plug into any like petrol station chargers you know it's not, it's not about fast charging you know it's 80 mile range to get to work and back ah look at the view here look little wading birds wading in there I'm not upsetting them with noisy motorcycles <laughs> so as you can see you've got the uh, electronics are in here you've got this really sort of quite attractive looking big cable going into the battery area but it's really minimalistic you know the motor is in the hub at the rear and you've got your rear brake there your shocks you know it's, it's all pretty pretty simple and a really neat you know neat layout let's check it from the other side yeah the other side's just the same it's very very neat very very neat no wires looks really good you know nice leather seat you know with the logo on the back of it so to get into the battery compartment when you turn it off you get like a countdown on the screen there and you've got to press the eject button the open button to open up the battery compartments so that's one of the batteries. So then you just pull that out. I mean, the batteries, look, I mean, you've got little wood inlays on there with the logos on. I mean, look at that. The quality of that is quite heavy. I don't know what that weighs. It's a good, uh, where is it? So heavy it is. It's heavy though. That's 15 kilos, 10 kilos, 10, 15 kilos. And then only goes in one way, slot it in slap it in and there's another one in here so let's see how we get into that one ah there we go so i think you've got a double press gets you into this battery compartment and it's the same thing just pull the battery out job done so you've got two of these these are 40 miles each on the range push the button i've used one blob there look so i guess if you just had the one battery you could use this as storage space just push it in like that you know it's as simple as that really easy lift them out bang them in and the whole thing with one battery weighs 110 kilos and everyone's giving me some funny looks like, what is that guy riding why does he look like a gorilla on a tricycle i wish it had a little bit more punch for for pulling out or do you know have a slightly more aggressive map because it's a little bit flat but i guess that you know they do that to give you the range doesn't it if they're making it super punchy then you're not going to get you're not going to get your 80 miles out of it it's very pleasant very very pleasant i'm going to go left here and we'll go for a little bit around this hailing island by the way i used to live here so i know hailing island very well i grew up here i grew up here and we can have a little country run through north knee here we'll see if we can get a flat out that's full, full power this is coming up to 40 now but i think if you're looking for a vehicle to do the commute to work and back every day this is perfect this is absolutely perfect providing you don't have to go any faster than 45 miles an hour on your commute then and if this does a true 40 miles per battery which we're probably not going to be able to test today i mean i'm guessing we'll see what we get we see what we get we've got 85 percent still at the moment we'll see what we get you know whether that is you know best possible situations or whether that is quite a, a realistic 80 miles so i think for five thousand pounds this 
makes a lot of sense in, in a certain you know certain use cases certain use cases absolutely perfect if you just want to go out down the cafe something you want to just plug in at home i think that i think the removable batteries is a great idea because you know after the battery life is getting bad you, you know you can just buy a new one and slap it, slap it in so that it comes with a two-year warranty and I think that includes the batteries as well. So you don't get like an extended warranty on the batteries, I don't think, from what I could see on their website. But as the battery is removable, it's not an integrated part of the motorcycle, which is what they are on other, you know, on other electric bikes. The batteries are integrated, you can't remove them. They're an integrated part of the bike. So when the battery loses its capacity, loses its performance, then you're basically into uh, replacing the whole vehicle with this. You can just spend a thousand pound it's a lot of money for a battery but then you're good to go again it's like new again so that makes a lot of sense the old detachable battery thing and then if you do have two batteries and you're riding to work you could have one on charge at work couldn't you and then one at home if you know if you're within that 40 mile range and then you're not running such a heavy vehicle you've got a bit of storage then to put your lunch in <laughs> you can get all sort of panniers for this as well. There's little saddle bags and stuff you can get for this if you do want to carry a few a few extras with you. But uh, yeah, I like this. It is quite charming. It's quite a charming little vehicle. So we've done 20 miles and we've used 20% of the battery. So there you go. You are looking really at about 80 miles for 100% of the battery, aren't you? I'd say the 80 miles is actually pretty accurate. I'm going to see my mum now. And see my mummy. But yeah, I really like what Maving's done here. I'm pretty impressed with this. As I said at the beginning, this is the only sort of electric motorcycle which for me makes any sense at all. And uh, yeah, I think the quality of this is great. I love the fact that it's built in Britain. I really like that. You know, it, it does everything I'd want from this type of vehicle. Or just like a little bit more power in the brakes and a little bit more go on the throttle but hey you know it is, it is what it is it's a little community to get to work and for five thousand pounds i think it's a bloody bargain when you consider the batteries alone are a thousand pounds so six grand with two batteries five grand with one battery basically so there you are so if you're interested in one of these it has the chops stamp of approval you can go and purchase with confidence. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one. On something a bit more noisy next time. Oh. So I didn't just mean to beat you two ladies, I accidentally pushed the button, <laughs> honestly. <laughs>